So use mesh current method to find the current IY and also power associated with this 25 volts source. So when they say mesh current method, you have to find the meshes, assign a mesh current to each mesh and then just write the cadence. Okay, so let's do that. So this is one mesh. Let's call it IA, the mesh current, and another mesh, IP. Okay, so let's start doing the behavior from here on the mesh A. So mesh A. Remember, we have KBL here. So negative 100 plus six times, you look at the mesh can, it's IA, right? In this case, it's just IA, okay? So naturally you have to go down to close the mesh here, but because we see a current source, this is one of the special cases, that then you see a current source, you have to just use a super mesh, okay? So instead of going down, I, I go around the whole mesh, I combine basically. I look at this, this is a super mesh. Super mesh. So when there's a current source shared by two meshes, we just combine them as a super mesh. Okay, so minus 106 IA and then 20 times IB minus 25, see I hit the negative minus 25, plus 30 times the current is IB plus nine times IA equals Okay, so this is our first equation. I can just uh, group them together. So I see six, na six IA and nine IA. So 15 IA and then 20 and 30 IB, 50 IB. And then I have negative 100, negative 25. 125, it's negative, but I take it to the other side. Okay, so good. So this is our first equation. But also because of the current source here that we basically we bypassed, I can write the equation here. So it's a current source somehow uh, it combines I and IB. So you look at the direction of the current source going down. Then, so IA is going down, so it becomes IA minus IB. So IA minus IB is equal to four. So this is because of the current source. Yeah. So again, we have four amp going down and then this is IA, same direction, IA, but then IB is going the other side. So it becomes IA minus IB equal to four, very good. So we have two equations. Now, um, just let's put it also in a matrix format as practice. I A and I B. So 15 I A plus 50 I B equal to 125. And then one I A minus I B is equal to four. is the matrix one. Okay, you can either give it to calculator or in this case, it's also is to find, to calculate this by hand. Um, so anyway, we calculate it, IA is equal to five and IB is equal to one. Okay, and finally, the problem was us to find the power associated with the 25 volt um, source. Okay, so 25, we look at the plus and minus. I look at the passive sign combination and I, I would like to know what's this current. This current going up is the negative of IB. Okay, so if my IB is one amp, then this is negative. 
one amp. So it's a negative I, I, one amp is going up. So the power for the 25 volt, then we have plus minus here is 25 volt, and then the current negative. So 25 times minus 25. 